A week after her release from custody, Pumza Sigaka of Saldana Bay in the Western Cape has broken her silence. Until last week, the 32-year-old mother of three was one of the accused in the disappearance of six-year-old Jocelyn Smith. Sigaka, who claims that police tortured her to reveal the whereabouts of the grade one pupil, says people close to Jocelyn need to tell the truth. News from Africa's Nasipi Same reports. Because the time she said my girl Carl Mutana, why are you a and I want to tell you? So, yeah, I had to go to the salon. I had to go to the salon and I had to go to the salon. I had to go to the salon. I had to go to the police station. I had to go to the salon and I had to go to the police station. I had to go to the salon. Sigaka, who resides near the Smith's family home, believes that those closest to Jocelyn know where the missing girl is. She says when Jocelyn went missing on the 19th of February, that marked a turning point for the Saldana Bay community. Despite extensive search efforts, Jocelyn's whereabout remained unknown until the 7th of March when police announced the arrest of four suspects, including Sigaka and Jocelyn's mother, Rukwal. Sigarka's Sigarka claims she was coerced into confessing after hours of torture by police. Man, bezela kwenye i i i room, no ba i poti room. Then kubu usoge mundo ba na tia timu kabele nuchos nde amad na uchos le. Ben kala gem na ba na ewe kubu usoto amante te ba kwenye sika Anthony na. ไปกูกูกูพูดแต่หนูเสียฟังนะบางบางทุ่มแต่หนูบ้านสักกูมึงเก็บพาสวันที่เป็นทุกอารมณ์ตัวเกมนะคือบ้านไอ้อันดีอ
for news from Africa on Channel 405. I'm Nasipi Same in Cape Town.